total internal reflection. Let us consider a ray of light passing from glass to air, that is, from a denser medium to a rarer medium. When a ray of light is incident on a refracting surface, a major part of the incident light is refracted and a small portion is reflected. The refracted ray bends away from the normal after refraction. That is, the angle of refraction R is greater than the angle of incidence I. Now, if we increase the angle of incidence, the angle of refraction also increases. And for a certain angle of incidence, say IC, the refracted ray grazes over the surface of separation and the angle of refraction will be 90 degrees. IC is referred to as the critical angle. Critical angle is that angle of incidence for which a ray of light while moving from a denser to a rarer medium just grazes over the surface of separation of the two media. That is, the angle of refraction is equal to 90 degrees. If we further increase the angle of incidence, the light ray instead of getting refracted bounces back into the same medium obeying the laws of reflection. This is known as total internal reflection. Conditions to be satisfied for total internal reflection to take place are The ray of light must travel from a denser medium to a rarer medium. The angle of incidence must be greater than the critical angle for those two media.